Let's say you want to create a custom control in WX widgets, a button with nicely rounded corners. You write your class, add a constructor, bind to the paint event, and draw a rounded rectangle with text in the center. You place your new beautiful custom control on a blue panel and run the app. It works great on Linux and Mac, but on Windows there is a problem. The control's background is not transparent, so the blue panel is not visible near the edges of our button. Luckily, you are just two lines away from the solution. I'll tell you in a moment what you need to do, but before that, let's take a look at another problem with transparency – exporting a transparent image to a file. Here's a method that saves our button as a PNG image. We create an empty bitmap, link it with a memory device context, and draw our button there. In the end, we export everything to a file. And again, no transparency. How do we fix all this? Here's the solution. Specify the depth of the bitmap so that every pixel is represented by 4 bytes – red, green, blue and alpha, meaning transparency. 4 times 8 bits per byte equals 32. Then call use alpha, which enables the alpha or transparency channel for our bitmap. The problem is solved. The background of our image is now transparent. The first problem with drawing the button on the screen in Windows requires a less elegant solution. Note that in versions 3.3 and above, this probably will be fixed and the only thing you will have to do will be to call set background style with the style transparent parameter. This call requires us to use the empty base class constructor and call the create method after setting the background style. If that does not help, you need to call these two Windows specific lines to set the transparency flag in the underlying UI library. And this little fix solves the problem. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.